Mom. Shake hands, guys. We're in no rush for the pre-match photo op, but who will prevail in the race to 13? It's time for the UK Open final, and we can join it, our commentary team of Carl Boys, Jeremy Jones, and Phil Yates. Have a great match, gentlemen. Anticipation could hardly be any greater than this. We've had literally thousands of racks. We've had hundreds of matches, but only one champion will emerge. It Just will be a European, and if it's as close as the lag, I think, Jeremy Jones, we're in for a treat. Extension, please. You can cut the, the tension with a knife, even though this is rack one of a possible 25. <coughs> Needs to keep the cue ball on the table and the two. It's a foul. Yeah, it was an easy kick shot, and with the three and the five and the seven, kind well, of funny. I might have really had to look at the kick there, call. Start the clock, please. Yeah, here you, JJ. Look at that ball bounce off this rail. Look at that. Especially to start the match, right after an error from from Josh. Extension, please. He'd like to stop his ball here, but that's a little touchy from some distance. He could pinch it back. Doesn't want to let up. He might, might go forward. Times that shot so good does Joshua Filler. Just timing it nice just to kill the cue ball. And it's going to be a quick rack. Yeah, I talk about him all the time. He's like, when you talk about a light stun shot, he's up there with the best ever, maybe. Already, it is a rude awakening for FSR. Francisco Sanchez Ruiz, who finds himself swiftly 2-0 adrift. thing about Josh is seems like when he does use it, his extension it's like perfect timing for it he doesn't use it just always it takes a you know situation or a tough shot really decent little bank here though It was close. It always looked a little high off that rail. Yeah, I thought Extension, put a little more speed into it, Carl. Like, give it a little better chance, you know, just still try to hold the cue ball, of course, but. Joshua's going airborne. He's trying to pop this in the side. He's going to go close to this, but he's got to play this with control. Otherwise, the cue ball can be bouncing viciously. He'll be disappointed there. That was a good chance. I agree. And to be frank, it didn't threaten. He called it much too thick. So for the second, the second chance for Sanchez. 
He's going to finally get a rack on the board in this final. Yeah, and he's been breaking. You know, almost as well as anyone, really. I mean. Yeah, and it can always be a little awkward queuing. Right because of that bit there, you see the black leather on the pocket, that's raised. So you feel like you're queuing down on this a little bit. Well, that was a splendid pot, wasn't it? Yeah, if that's going to tell us anything, that Ruiz feels pretty good. Something about getting to break the balls, Carl, right? It's that energy. Yeah, Josh tapped on his leg when the two ball went in as well. He would have appreciated the difficulty in that pot. FSR beat Filler in the, the Derby City Classic nine ball final this year. What about when he made his big breakthrough? Sanchez Ruiz. It was in the European Nine Ball Championship in 2016, and he beat in the final Joshua Filler 9 3. He's not frightened of him. Well, he shouldn't be frightened of anyone because he's beat some top class opponents this week. He's played a lot of matches. He's definitely had his money's worth. And you kind of feel like he thinks he has just a high, high gear as anybody could, really. This match is already living up to pre-match expectations. 3-0 filler. Now, though, it's all locked up. He's had a go at the bank, and he's got it. He's attacking the table, JJ. Yeah, you gotta love it. He has not let off from 6 0 down in his second match of the tournament. He really has just stayed on the gas. Hence his nickname, right? What a characteristic rally from Francisco Sanchez Ruiz. He oh, that would have been incredible. I've never seen it going so close to the corner. It just kept going. Well, Nick the seven, right? Looked like it just shaved the seven. The overhead shot was superb there. We thought for all the world the cue ball was in. My advice, no one slam a door. Now after pretty much four or five racks, Phil has got a shot on an open ball. Needs to time this one nicely though, because it can get away from you. And what a beauty that was. It's a foul. Ball in hand. Scratch on the break. Pivotal moment. Well, did he get plucky. kissed enough, or was it a bad break? Couldn't really see. Here we I go. Thought it was all right. He got kissed near the side. I thought, like, but it was hold, held up and. Brutal part of our game, and it happens a lot. After a combination of combinations, 
from here it should be relatively plain sailing. He's not playing slow, but he slowed it down just a hair, and I think it's just perfect, really. Not going to make a big error. East London this week he has been a picture boy for perseverance and now he is more than halfway to claiming the silverware he leads 7-5 against Joshua Filler in this race to 13 yeah, a little bit of a mistake here from really kind of nowhere I think he'll be okay but and he got into the seven. And did he get behind the seven? And that all started getting elevated over the nine for a three ball, right? He chipped in the two, got it over the nine, ended up short on the four. Extension. Extension, please. I don't like the two rail kick maybe better. I don't know. Trying to pocket it in the upper right corner and bringing the cue ball back down table. Nice. That was easier than I Taking nothing away from Francisco Sanchez Ruiz call, you have to say, I think the the bulk of the luck has been with the Spaniard, or more pertinently, the bulk of the bad luck has been with Filler. He's just got to ride this out and hope it changes. Yeah, but it's like seven five and. He had a good chance there, and he just didn't seem to get that cue ball where he wanted. But he did play a good kick safe. And the kick safe has given him second chance in this rack. Yeah, I'd be happy to get right back to the table with an offensive shot. Mm -hmm. Just got to pay attention. Catches the right point on the corner pocket. Probably stands up. Just, and it's got to be hit clean. chances in this rack but he's pulled one back he's going airborne back to back in shape well the first half of the match Sanchez has had a slight bit of run of the ball Potted the ball that should never have gone in and it fell. Is the second half of the match going to go fill as well? Yeah, the big flute that Joshua had has kind of set up this little run. But as we alluded to before, Sanchez was getting some nice little run, wasn't he, in the, in the first section. So let's see how far this run goes from Filler. Well, the play is obviously getting better, but the break looks better as well. A little off angle here. I don't like forwards so much here usually, but sometimes... Extension, you know, please. You may really let the draw stroke out maybe here. Coming all the way to the bottom rail and up, you doubt it, but oh, he's going high ball. Well, 
It's difficult to see what he's faced with here, isn't it? set there now he's got to make a bit of a shot either a long shot in the corner or a little more cue ball if he plays it in the side such a great potter feel like he could take care of business just slotted it in the top left but yeah, yeah. either or jj well, i like i mean if, whichever he shoots at i like him to make it that's for sure Draw it. What a shot. Wonderful shot there from the 24 year old German. Talk about turning up the heat when the chips are down. Three break and run outs from Joshua Filler. The Filler camp are smiling. He just played one rail, and I think that's smart again. He's so good. Whether he has to come across and bump the seven here, or if he just plays position somewhere. Biggest shot of the final coming up. If he I mean, gets on this sixth ball, he could be on the hill. Might just ease in there, right? Just ease in, in there and, like, bump the seven, six inches away, maybe, or something like that. He went forward. I didn't realize that was an option. He's got a tester, though. I can see why he did that, but as you said, he's got a little tester here. He'll use his extension. Well, he won't because it says extension used. Yeah, I just thought, you know, maybe bump to seven. You don't want to move balls, but when it makes sense. But he's so good at figuring to make this. Great shot, wasn't it? Didn't even baby it in. I thought he might have babied it and played the seven in the left. No, probably the best stroke I've seen. Of, and he's made pure ones over and over, but that one was very clean. Rhythm was perfect. This is what the best players in the world do, Phil, isn't it? They get that little bit of an opportunity and they come with the big shots when it matters in the finals. And they don't shy away from pressure. They embrace it. They thrive under it. Yeah. Filler is suddenly a break and run out machine. That is four break and run outs in succession at just the right time. He has turned a 7 5 deficit into a 12 7 lead in no time. With Ralph as a countryman and all the tournaments he's won, but you got to believe this guy's going to win a lot of events and do a lot of special things. He's going to get another shot here. Will FSR be fearing the worst? Well, the balls are sitting nice where the three's near the four. Nice natural angle on the one to get to the two. The five's near the six. I think he kind of a little light there caught the one a little thick to the pocket so he's got to come with a shot here from kind of from nowhere also. Well he's on a four pack. Can it be a five pack for the match? And yeah. the trophy. Does he stun out of the shoot it in the lower left and stun off the side rail all the way up? He's one of the few that really possesses that power. He's going inside. No, he's going to get okay. Okay, no, what a shot just to load up with all the spin. You can easy miss that two ball. He's making this look very, very easy. Yeah, and he's showing the rest of the world what, it, what it's going to take to win huge tournaments in today's game. He was down in this final. It wasn't looking good. And he's had to produce the goods here. He's five balls away from producing a five pack for the match. Well, 
Well, he's playing exhibition shots now. Yeah, I was wondering about that one myself, Carl. But he just wanted to make sure he got a little angle. He's okay. Kind of right behind the shot. He can just kill this in off one rail. Come back down. Decided to use the second rail. You're seeing a special, special talent here at nine ball pool. Simple as that, five pack for the title. whatsoever. What a hat-trick. He won the Treviso Open in Northern Italy. He went to the Whirlpool Masters and triumphed there. And now in East London, he has won the inaugural UK Open. Is there no stopping this man? I'm delighted to say that the managing director of Match and Multisport, Emily Fraser, is on hand. Giving a plaque to our runner-up, Francisco Sanchez Ruiz. What a performer this week. Very well played, Francisco. Been great watching you here at the Copper Box. Let's hand this one over. 